Cooper Matchy here. This is your CCC update for April 24, 2023. That's Cooper's Critter Crew. <laughs> Nelson reports from the UK saying it was a quiet week there. Matilda's been busy in the garden, weeding and cutting down the overgrown trees and bushes, while Nelson has been helping Uncle Kev set up his new TV. I'm not sure he helped that much, but any job is easier with two. For, with two, that's four paws are better than two. <laughs> they had the races on Sunday, and it was St. George's Day. That's the patron saint of England. That tradition was established by in Tudor times, way back in the 15th century, based on the saint's popularity during the Crusades and the Hundred Years' War. That's a long time to be at war. For reasons unknown to us, St. George's Day isn't widely celebrated, but they decided to try and uphold some of the old traditions. Before the races began, they hoisted St. George's flag up a large pole at the racetrack. Matilda and Twinkle organized a Punch and Judy show and games for the squirrel kids and the young at heart, and some old-fashioned Morris dancing. That's a strange one where everyone dances with bells on their front and back paws. <laughs> Nelson dressed up as St. George in a suit of armor, armor to open the day's proceedings. Matilda made treats with lots of nuts and fruit, as well as traditional bread and butter pudding, scones with jam, and lots of tea. The drone race was won by Swen, but the foot race was won by Twinkle. Surprising everyone, she was so fast. Swen and Twinkle are having a short break in Norway starting today, but hopefully they'll be back in time for next week's race. Meanwhile, back in the U.S. of A., Lenny and Lucy, that's L&L, &L, report from the North End that their paw is making good progress with his injured paw. <laughs> e and B, Earl and Burl, have been very busy raking leaves at both their house and our house and carting them off to the landfill in Williston via drones in big hanging baskets. Earl met Ollie, my friend who's a rabbit and wears glasses, and his family at IHOP on Friday morning for breakfast, as they often do. Everyone in Ollie's family is doing great, I'm happy to report. Earl and Burl are also helping by volunteering their cleaning services at the inn at Shelburne Farms, which is opening for the first time in two years on May 12th and needs a good cleaning. It's one of Earl's favorite places to be in the summer, so he's happy to help out. They took all their own cleaning supplies and it will be in tip-top shape in time for the opening. Vermont Green Up Day is always the first Catterday in May, as is the Kentucky Derby. Therefore, E and B have a huge scheduling problem. But Earl came up with a solution. He and his relatives from all over are getting together this weekend to do their own cleanup to kickstart Green Up Day a week early. I've talked about Green Up Day before. It is where everyone volunteers to clean up the sides of the roads and make Vermont look even more beautiful than it does already. The first official Green Up Day was in 1970, so it's a long tradition in the state. No way is Earl going to miss the Kentucky Derby. You can count on that. I'm excited for that as well. I've had some wonderful, great porch days recently, and that makes me a happy kitty. Oh, and Earl won the drone race, and Squirrel Terriot won the foot race in a very soggy race in the pouring rain. I hope everybody has a good week and be kind to one another. Cooper Munchie here. Ciao.